Hi, my name is Kyle Troscott. I'm here uh, at AHR to demonstrate the uh, Mojave Arc to Drive product behind me. I'm the director of rep sales for Mojave Energy Systems. So a couple things about this product before we get started. Uh, this product is capable of delivering eight pounds per kilowatt hour of ISM Marine 2. Uh, we are able to deliver a 40 degree dew, down to a 40 degree dew point with this product. It's also VAV capable, mixed air capable, uh, corral for controls, back net capable. We are also able to provide an ERV with this product, an ERV module with this product. Running through this product, uh, this is our outside air stream. Again, mixed air capable as well. First, we have our evaporator coil. Uh, basically, what we're doing with this uh, from a refrigeration circuitry standpoint is we're cooling and doing partial dehumidification, basically cooling down to our, our final target enthalpy line. From there, we're interfacing our, uh, our saturated air with our desk and media, our absorber. This is where we're going to ride our enthalpy line. There's conservation of energy happening. We're drawing moisture out of the air while simultaneously releasing heat back into that airstream. So rather than a hot gas reheat coil with a typical DX system, you're not overcooling that air. You're leveraging the exothermic nature of desk skin to draw that moisture out of the air while simultaneously releasing heat to get your final neutral air temperature. Uh, downstream of that, from a maintenance perspective, very little additional maintenance with this product. Uh, you have your filters. Additionally, you're gonna have your T-strainers. All you're gonna do is anytime you change your filters, you're gonna change out that, or pardon me, not change out, you're going to rinse out that T-strainer. Um, that's the only additional maintenance with this desk inside of the system here. From there, gas heat, electric heat with this product. We do have heat pump on the way as well. Uh, this is an inverter driven 454B compressor. We're using Copeland for that product. Um, it's down discharge, side discharge compatible as well. Uh, additional refrigeration components that we have here. We have our traditional condenser over here. And you also have, instead of a hot gas reheat coil, we're using our hot gas uh, to regenerate our desk, and I'll talk a little bit more on the other side. But fun fundamentally, very similar from a refrigeration circuitry to a traditional DOAS product. So if you follow me, we'll waltz around here real quick. So what do you do with that moisture when you've uh, captured that into the desk skin? That's where we regenerate that desk skin. Basically what we're doing is we're adding heat to that desk skin to get that moisture back out of it. So we're using that waste heat off the compressor. Rather than dumping it to atmosphere, we're gonna put that into a regeneration coil. There's a filter that typically sits in front of this coil as well. Um, we're gonna heat up that outside air. This is fundamentally an outside air tunnel. So we're drawing in that outside air, heating it up, pushing it through this desorber, which is where we're reconcentrating that desk skin to repeat the process. Now, a couple other things here about our system. Um, one of the big barriers to entry uh, with liquid deskins is the corrosion factor. We've effectively solved deskin carryover. Um, there is zero deskin carryover into the Airstream with this product, and that was the, the challenge that we had to solve to enter the commercial market here. Uh, a couple other things, we do have selection software available ready for engineers. Um, beyond that, this is the Arc to Drive product. Again, my name is Kyle Troscott, Director of Rep Sales. If you guys have any interest or questions, happy to field them. Thanks for your time.